Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just achieved major victory days after Omarosa started slanderous attack. Congrats. I have been involved with politics for a long time. In all that time I have never seen a politician come out on top the way that President Trump does time after time after time. No matter what is thrown at him, Trump bounces back and Americans seem to love him more and more for it. He's a fighter and that is quintessentially American. Trump has brought tons of jobs back to America and has dropped the unemployment number to record lows. There are literally more jobs than workers out there these days it seems. I can't remember since Ronald Reagan when that happened. Trump's approval rating among black voters has risen to 36 percent in a recent Rasmussen poll. The number seems totally unaffected by allegations of racism from former White House staffer Omarosa Manigault Newman. In fact, she seems to be helping Trump's numbers. That's got to just enrage her in the left. Teflon Don strikes again and is having the last laugh once more. That's up from the 29 percent reported by Rasmussen two weeks ago. A year ago, that number stood at 19 percent. I detect a trend and it's a good one for 2020. This daily tracking poll was released on August 15. It seems to indicate that black Americans aren't fooled by Omarosa's slanderous allegations of racism on the part of the president. Congratulations are in order for the president as this is a major victory over efforts by the left and the media to take President Trump down. It's not working at all. From the Epic Times Among other things, Manigault Newman accused Trump of using a racial slur during the production of his reality television show The Apprentice, on which she used to work with Trump. The president, the White House, and multiple insiders have denied the claims. Trump's pitch to black Americans has centered around the promise of jobs. Partly due to Trump cutting taxes and eliminating regulations, the economy has been on a roll, with unemployment among blacks hovering around historical lows, a fact the administration has repeatedly highlighted. Since Election Day 2016, we have created 3.8 million new jobs. Unemployment for African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and Asian Americans has reached an all-time low. America is back. Vice President Mike Pence wrote on Twitter on August 3. A YouGov poll from August 11 to 13 showed Trump's approval rating at 8 percent among blacks, up from 3 percent on August 9. That result, however, wasn't filtered down to likely voters. Among all registered voters, the approval was 45 percent in its latest poll. Overall approval of Trump among likely voters remained steady at 49 percent, marking a slight increase from numbers around 46 percent in July. Unemployment for Hispanic workers in the United States has fallen to a new record low rate of 4.5 percent in July, surpassing the record 4.6 percent set just a month earlier. The overall unemployment rate dropped to 3.9 percent from 4 percent in June, the Bureau of Labor Statistics BLS, reported. Asian unemployment dropped to 3.1 percent while black unemployment, still hovering around historical lows, increased slightly to 6.6 percent. All of this portends an even bigger landslide for President Trump in the next presidential election if things keep heading in this direction. And yet even with the statistics speaking for themselves, the media is twisting this as the very opposite of what it is. USA Today, for instance, a couple of days ago claimed that the Trump-Omarosa feud was deepening the wedge with black voters ahead of midterms. What the media is proclaiming and what is reality seem to be two very different things here. I contend this is the way it is for most Americans and President Trump. They are watching what the president does and what his results are. Voters are no longer listening to the mainstream media and they have long ago ceased to trust them. Omarosa notwithstanding, there is no evidence that President Trump is racist. None at all. Trump is known to be friends with countless people from many backgrounds, and even prominent civil rights figures such as Jesse Jackson praised Trump before he announced that he was running for president. Perception is reality and Americans perceive that Trump is not a racist. From the Conservative Tribune Even a poll conducted by the NAACP, one of the most well-known black liberal groups in America, revealed that while there's still a long way to go, Trump is faring much better with the black community than many of his Republican predecessors. That poll put Trump's support among black Americans at 21 percent. No, it doesn't seem very high, but when you consider how low past Republicans have fared with minorities, it looks downright magnificent. It's also bad news for Democrats. The left has long relied on black Americans voting blue at the polls, and if that demographic continues to walk away from liberal politicians, the ability of Democrats to win future elections is in serious jeopardy. The Democrats heavily depend on 90-plus percent turnout and 90-plus percent support for Democrats among African Americans. 
if that level of support falls to 71%, the game is more or less over, explained American thinker. If black voters begin to vote Republican in higher numbers or simply stay home on election day, the numbers say the Democrats just can't win. The NAACP poll putting black opposition to Trump at 79% brings the left precariously close to the tipping point, and other polls show the president doing even better with blacks. Donald Trump's approval ratings among black voters, 29%, stated Rasmussen reports, a respected polling group, a week ago. This time last year, 15%. That suggests that black opposition to Trump is right at 71 percent, yes, exactly at the tipping point beyond which Democrats cannot win future presidential elections. And Trump keeps doing better with blacks, not worse. Looking at those numbers economically, I'd say Trump will get another four years and the Democrats are basically doomed in the next election. Victory will be very sweet while the left continues to scream racism. In the background, Trump will go on to serve yet another term and continue to help make America great again. Good times. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.